en soprano, Mitch de Beis, Ana María Ruimonte, Alan Lee Wine. Welcome to Hoy en Delaware. Thank you very much, Virginia. Delighted to be here. We follow your careers since years, but please introduce yourselves. Sure. My name is Alan Lewine. I am a bass player, primarily double bass, primarily jazz. Uh, I've lived in Philadelphia area for about 12 years and uh, started working with Ana Maria after we met about eight years ago and formed the group Soprano Meets Bass and have done a variety of projects. Each of us do projects on our own musically, but together we mix genres in Soprano Meets Bass. I am Ana Maria Ruimonte. I am from Madrid, Spain, and I live in Philadelphia area. Um, I am a classical singer. And in this project, I sing Sephardi songs um, of women, songs of women, with my husband, Alan Lee Wine, who is a bass, as he said, is a bass player. You came from, you come from different uh, backgrounds. So tell me a little bit about how you came up with soprano meets bass. Well, Anna Maria was visiting the United States, as she said, and we met. And we started doing some things together. And it's true, we come from very big, different backgrounds. I'm North American, American, Anna Maria is European, Spanish. Uh, we don't even, you know, primarily jazz, primarily classical. We don't even live in the same clef, treble clef, bass clef. <laughs> but somehow it works together for us. And uh, we've had a marvelous time for the last eight years exploring the world and exploring different types of music. What inspired the idea for Sephardi Treasures? Well, Ana Maria, when we were first getting married, came back from Spain, one of her final concerts with the uh, Orquesta Coro Nacional de España, the National Orchestra and Chorus of Spain, where she was employed before, was uh, a concert about immigrants and emigrants, and it featured a number of songs arranged by Alberto Hemsi that were based on Sephardic songs, Sephardic mm -hmm. secular romances. And we thought, you know, this is a great idea for us. The, I, I liked the melodies a lot. Ana Maria found the lyrics appealing. She sings in Ladino and Spanish mm -hmm. for these. Um, and that's where the idea came from. We started doing research uh, from online and also from visiting different libraries and Amazon and found... And in Granada. Also, in we went to the musical library in Granada. Yes, different libraries. And uh, we got books by various ethnomusicologists, which had gone to the areas of the Sephardic diaspora and in the first half of the 20th century and collected songs. And they would sketch out the melody, not very clearly, and write down the, the lyrics. And fortunately, you know, the, the thing is, in the days that the Sephardic culture developed and thrived in Spain in the medieval days, mm -hmm. they didn't have a form of musical notation. They didn't have recorders. They didn't even have iPhones. So, no. we, don't know exactly, <laughs> so we don't know exactly what it sounded like. And what happened is over the generations, as, as you know, the Jews were expelled from Spain in 1492, from Portugal a few years later. Uh, they basically spread through the Ottoman Empire around the Mediterranean and settled there. And because at that time, the Muslim world of the Ottoman Empire was much more welcoming of diversity and uh, different cultures mm -hmm. living among themselves. And uh, what happened is women tended to remember the songs and sing them to their daughters who would remember them and sing them to their daughters. So it was passed by the oral tradition for many generations, mother to daughter. Uh, and maybe that's why a lot of the songs that we came across, that we chose, were songs about strong women and the trials and tribulations of women and refugees. And I like this also, the themes. First of all, I love the melodies. And I like the themes because they speak so much to our times as well. 
in my mind. Nice. Um, what sort of musical elements go into the accompaniment? It's very diverse. It's very diverse. You know, I, my thought was the musicians who once performed this in medieval Spain uh -huh. uh, wanted to be cool. They wanted to be hip. They wanted their music to talk to people and, and be enjoyed by people. And I thought, well, if we play very stiff and formal like many people do when they play medieval music, that's not hip. That's not what this music is about, I don't think. This is music that came from the people from the streets. I said, let's mix in the things that we're interested in, that we enjoy. And so my background is jazz. There's a strong jazz influence when we did the arrangements. Uh -huh. uh, Ana Maria, of course, has her very deep and disciplined classical background. And she sings. And although she uses different kinds of voices on different songs or parts of songs, you can hear the classical operatic bel canto training that is the core of her singing. And because it comes from Spain and I enjoy flamenco and had been experimenting a little bit with flamenco jazz fusion in my own mind, we brought in a couple of flamenco musicians, fantastic musicians. Uh, th throughout on this project, we have got amazing musicians. I'm so flattered to have such a great group. Two Israelis, three Israelis really on the group of flautist, uh, Hadar Neuberg, who is spectacular, lives now in Brooklyn like half of Israel. <laughs> um, Chano Dominguez, the Spa not Israeli, I'm sorry, I changed, changed countries for a minute. When I was talking of Spain, I should have mentioned Chano Dominguez, the magnificent jazz flamenco pianist from uh, Cadiz. Uh -huh. who lives in Brooklyn, too, <laughs> much of the time. Um, but the, then the Israelis' drummer percussionist, Shai Wetzer. Uh, on one tune, we have a shofar player named Yanni Dror. And uh, I mentioned the flautist, mm -hmm. Hadar Neuberg. And uh, who am I leaving well, out on the, the, the oh, Spanish, Thomas. The Spanish one first is um, uh, Joaquin uh, Julian Vaquero mm -hmm. in the guitar. Um, Victor Monge in the percussion, much, um, much cajon flamenco and Chano Dominguez in one in piano. Uh, and and also, let's not forget uh, native Philadelphian mm -hmm. Dwayne Eubanks, who lives in New York City now also, but great trumpet player, great jazz trumpet player. So all of these elements we kind of boiled down into something that we think is musically exciting. It is. Yeah. Um, Ana Maria, where have you already presented this program? We presented uh, for the first time um, in Granada, Spain. Mm -hmm. We also presented in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, different places, the Free Library, uh, Trinity Church, uh, Art Alliance, Taller Puerto Riqueño. We presented also in La Habana, Cuba, also in Tucson, Arizona, um, in other countries, also... In other places in the United States. In other places in the United States, yeah. Like and we also toured Northern Europe, uh, mm -hmm. not, only, not only Spain, Southern Europe, but also in mm -hmm. uh, Belgium and Holland. And Israel, we, went to, we were performing at the Instituto Cervantes in Tel Aviv, and also in Jerusalem. So. And the uh, Felicia Blumenthal Center in Tel Aviv. Also Felicia Blumenthal. Um, and well, this is a program that we can take every part because they are Jewish dispersed mm -hmm. in most of the world. And, it's and not very only interested interesting. in the in the medieval, in the history. And with this performance, we we update, we put music of the old times in a way is cool nowadays. With, with this mix of so many things, it's not only interesting to Jewish, it's interesting to all sorts of people, I think, uh, both because of the themes of it and because of the strange mixture of styles. In fact, we didn't try to derive this from anybody else's ideas. And our, one of our slogans is, you've never heard anything like this before. <laughs> I understand you have a record deal for this album. I think it's amazing. Um, tell me a little bit more about this. Well, thank you. There's been some interest in this, and we have affiliated with 
an organization, a company called Parma Records. They have several labels. Uh, they plan to release this on the Ansonica label, which will be distributed by Naxos and in all the places, places people buy and stream music these days. Uh, and Sonica Records, and it's going to be out probably in July, called Soprano Meets Bass, Sephardic Treasures. So thank you for this interview. Thank you for the invitation. And don't miss the opportunity. Sephardic Treasures. This is a real treasure for all. <laughs>